Hello everybody, my name is Jemmy, and today I will be giving you the second episode of Fast AI for Kids. In this video, we're going to be showing you how you can do image scrapping from Python. So this is so um, we can grab our images that we're going to use to create our AI, such as for cats or dogs, um, and we're going to create our own data set, and I'll show you how. So first off, let's open uh, any browser you'd like. I'm going to open Opera GX because uh, it's a pretty good browser. Uh, browser and then after you opened it what you should do is you should go into uh google collab so just search up google collab like this um and then just press enter then go into the first one click on that and it should you to bring you to this page um if you haven't did if you haven't done anything yet then it shouldn't uh come up like mine but if you did then uh there should be stuff in here uh ignore all of this and create a new notebook and it should uh load up into a new page there you go. So this is the new page that we have right now. Um, and you can see we can adjust the name and we have one line of code. So at first we're going to adjust the name to uh, image scrapping. Scrapping from Python. I'll just do image scrapping EP02 like so. And I will go into this great website. Uh, I'll drag onto the screen. Uh, this is uh, I'll leave this link to into the description, by the way. It is the JMD image scrapper that we're going to be using. Um, I'll also leave the link to the finished collab file in the description. So it would be already done. So if you don't want to like follow, uh, if you don't want to type the code out, we just use that collab file. It's the finished product. And we're today we're going to be using the JMD image scrapper to create our own image scrapping. So first off, we can copy this in here. Uh, it's the PIP install JMD image scrapper. So we can copy and paste that. This is so that we can just install the image scrapper into our collab workspace. And in order to do that, we need to do uh, put an exclamation point in front and let's uh, connect first. So once we do that, we have to make sure our hardware accelerator is GPU, which is the best way to run an AI. Then click connect over here and then we have to wait until it's done connecting. All right, once it shows up like this RAM and disk, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and click uh, play or Right. I don't know what that thing is called run um, and you will see a long line of code like this uh, don't be surprised it will just uh, install it for you and if it says requirement already satisfied that means you already installed it into the, your collab workspace so you don't have to do it anymore and now we're going to create a new one so we can just press uh, plus code over here and for our second code uh, we're going to be using uh, these two lines right here these two so copy uh, this and go into here and just paste uh, this one is so that we can use, uh, we'll install like all the, I call it, all the functions of this image scrapper into our workspace. So just press run and then it should come up a check mark. And for our next one, we're going to be using this one. We're going to be setting our root. So basically, uh, where it's going to be saved at, at, sorry. And then we're going to create new code and we're going to put it in there. Um, so this is path root equals to path. And then this is cwd stands for current working directory slash images so it's going to create a folder that says slash images to store our data set in um, so we can go ahead and press run to uh, you can also do shift enter which will not only run it but will create a new code cell for you too uh, i would i need to get into the practice of doing this again um, because it's not it's not only more useful it's also more quick and efficient so i recommend just doing shift enter let's go back into our jmd image grabber and we're going to grab this code right here, DuckDuckGo search root, and we're gonna paste in here, DuckDuckGo search root, un comma cat, cute kittens, max result equals to 20. Uh, I'll explain to you what it does. So basically in here, DuckDuckGo underscore search, uh, we're going to be searching in DuckDuckGo since it's going to give us the best results out of all the browsers. Uh, we'll search up cute kittens in our, uh, like, like this cute kittens, like so, and then press enter. But instead we're gonna let um, the machine do it this time. And it will save into a folder called cats at roots. Um, and then we have 20 as the how much it will download for us. So it will download 20. And what we want to do is we want to press run and let it load for a bit. And there you go. Now, once it has in, once it came up in here, uh, if we check in here, you can see there's a folder that says images. Um, if we put it down, we can see cat, which is our folder that we created. And if we scroll even more down, there's a bunch of images or JPGs 
that we have downloaded if you right click on them or not right click double click it will show you a bunch of cats cute kittens to be exact um and you can change this to whatever you'd like uh and it will come up like these results pretty good uh and it scraps 20 images in total you can change this to be like a hundred or a thousand um it doesn't it just uh depends on how much uh data or how much variety your topic has like for cute kittens there's going to be a lot a very wide amount of data and pictures that you can download but maybe for something like chocolate vanilla cake orange on the side there might be like not that much uh images that you can download um so it might get you some uh spam download and what you can do with that is we can clean it manually and we can actually use a handy dandy function from here uh which is right here these two codes um we can copy them uh and we're gonna go paste them in our new line i'm gonna close this uh like so close tab close all tabs there you go and i'll close this one for now now i'm going to create a new line of code and we're going to paste these two into it um this is just going to uh get these two lines of code are just going to uh clean our data set for us so if we were to press run then it would come up with like a little panel for us to use you can see that these are all our images that we got um and then you can see there's page one out of three you can click next and it will bring up to the second page then next the third page like so and we can use different folders inside of the big folder images um so if we were to go back up here and we're like okay let's find dogs now so we create a folder called dogs uh with the thing called uh cute puppies like so and then we will click run it will download all the images of cute puppies and then if we were to press run on this thing again uh it will come up cat still but what we can do is we can actually go to uh the folders and we can select dogs and it will come up the dog images so these are the cute puppies that we have um and cats now we have two folders uh with cats we can check if any of them are like not what we want maybe it's like multiple cats and we only want a singular cat um so we can click delete under here then it'll just cross out this image or it'll delete it and we go to the next one and then we find any cats that we don't want you can see there's two cats here we can delete that next one and you can see we can keep on doing this for dogs and cats and the more you have the more uh, harder it is to clean because then you have to scroll through more and more uh, images and data sets so yeah good luck with that i had to do that it was pretty painful um but it's what you do to get a clean data set and make your ai the best uh to its uh to be wait the best to its ability okay and you can also do the same thing for dogs you go through dogs you see oh multiple dogs bye bye they're really cute but they're too much dogs in one picture they might get confused like it's three-headed dog um and then we can go to the last page and two dogs delete and there you go that's how you clean your data set and there you go that's how you clean your data set and for our uh last code last line of code we're gonna be doing a code that allows us to um like download our data set into our computer so in order to do that we need this line of code right here uh zip with an exclamation point in front slash r content images for from collab.zip so this just saves it for us and from what a uh, path with content images so that would be this is in the content folders and images and it'll save uh, us this thing so yeah we can press play right here or run and you can see it's like oh i'm gonna save and if we were to close this out and open it again oh uh, if we put this a little bit you can see it saves as images from collab which is the name we set right here um dot zip and you can just click right and we can click download and it'll just go into our local computer uh you can see it comes up download complete and yeah that's how you download your data set and that's how you clean it um if we were to go check it out let's go see let me drag it in so images from collab there's the content branch and then there's images and then there's those two folders cats and dogs so if we look in cats there's all the images that we want the little cute kitties um singular cute kitties um so we can just check on the images and you can check for dogs too um, and then, yeah, that's how to get a data set. And obviously you can increase this. You have more like a thousand or something. I hope this helped you. And I remember that I will leave these two links from this JMD image scrapper right here. 
and the finished collab file this one in the description so make sure to check that out and yeah thank you for watching this video and see you next time bye